Hi and welcome to the Ninja Outreach tutorial. My name is Aris and today we are going to talk about how you can use Ninja Outreach to create your expert roundup post. Right here in front of me is the search, but first let's talk about let's let's spare a few seconds talking about a, a, what an expert roundup is. Basically, an expert roundup is a kind of post, a really long post, which is a collection of answers or point of views from different people, so-called experts. The reason why people are using this as a type of content is because generally it gets a fair amount of shares because once you pu publish that post you can immediately send it to those people who um, participated in the expert roundup and they're going to share it to their followers. So that's traffic for you and exposure which is kind of good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find people in the marketing space doing one thing specific and that is growth hacking. Let's try that on the Twitter search. The different searches that we have here is for website and blog search and the Instagram search, the Twitter influencer search. You can use all of them, but for some, in some cases, for example, the marketing niche, you are more likely to get a lot more um, influencers and experts using Twitter influencers rather than Instagram influencers. And that is because most people in the marketing niche are into Twitter rather than Instagram. But if you are in the fashion and the travel niche, or if you're an e-commerce business and you're looking for travel and fashion influencers, then definitely you should go in Instagram. But right here in front of me, I have about 328 influencers um, that has a keyword growth hacker. So they are, they are calling themselves growth hackers in their bio. I'm going to filter this even further with an uh, influencer so that, so that I can remove all those people that had a follower count of less than um, 3000. Now I have 109 results and this is actually the list. Now, since I have searched for growth hackers, then the question that I should have prepared for them is something around growth hacking, how to grow your blog, how to generate traffic and so on and so forth. But first let's save them all in the list. Now, after I save them all in the list, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to check each and every one of them to dig into their profile deeper to get to know them if they really are if they really are growth hackers. But let's just say that I've finished all that. The next thing that I want to do is I want to create a template. And in the templates page, you can simply click this button to create a template and you have available fields that you can use in here. And you can type here the subject line as well at the top right and at the top left the template name and in the middle you can type the message. Let's talk about the kind of template that we have sent in the past. And this is the template. It's a really simple template. You have the introduction at the first line and what you intend to do or what the message is about in the second line. And then on the third line, third and fourth is actually the, just the, including the question um, that they need to answer in order to participate. Also include a link to a Google form or a type form to make it easier for you to collect the responses. But if they answer via email, then you're just going to have to add that in your, um, in your list. So the last thing that I want to point out in here is the deadline. You have to have a deadline. For example, if you send out the email today, then the deadline for that is probably um, two or three weeks. That would be enough time for these people to answer. They are really busy. Don't expect them to answer right away. But then again, you can always follow up after three or five days and just just to get their answer if they're going to participate or not. Because it's an opportunity for them. You are not just positioning them as an expert. You are also featuring them in your blog and promoting them. So it's a win-win situation for you and these influencers that you are reaching out to. Now here is where you can schedule a campaign. Simply click on schedule a campaign at the top and this is the auto sending. Simply select the list that you've created. In which case we have here the growth hacker list and then select the emails where you want the outreach to go out to and then the template that you have just created for your expert round of campaign. For example, this one. Now I have here about 41 leads. Obviously you're going to need a bunch of more a bunch more leads than just 41 it's because 41 of them has an email address the rest of them has their twitter handle so i'm going to reach out to them manually on twitter but for those who has an email address i'm going to send 
about 20 emails for a day so this campaign should fin finish in two days but of course I always recommend sending a follow-up and it will be sent after um, let's say three days is actually good once you are done setting up the campaign all you need to do is to click on launch and it will send the emails automatically and you are done if you have any questions specifically about creating expert roundup posts, simply reach out to us and we will be more than happy to reply to you as soon as we can. Now, once again, my name is Aris and thank you for taking the time and watching this video. I hope you learned something today and um, I'm signing off now and have a great day.